Hello friends, hope all of you are fine. I think uh, you are having some anxieties about Accenture technical interview. But let me give a chance to introduce you to 10 most common questions asked in Accenture technical round. Which are collected from 50 students who gave interview in earlier time. Believe me, just knowing these 10 questions and these questions answer may help you to crack technical round. So, kursi ke peti badlo hai. Just one thing you should know that if you are from any non-IT background, then remember these questions as well as your favorite subject and project. Okay. Uh, before starting the question session, I'll request you to please subscribe my channel so that you can get updates regarding this topic. Okay. Let's look upon these questions. is java called platform independent java is called a platform independent language because of the jvm the byte code actually a dot class file generated by source code compilation would run in any operating system but the jvm present in a machine differs for each operating system and this is how java is considered a platform independent programming language and what do you understand by exception handling exception handling is one of the powerful mechanism to handle the runtime errors so that the normal flow of the application can be maintained i think you have done it by try or something like that and what is the difference between a local variable and global variable in C in a, or in any other languages? This is quite same. In local variables, the, it declares within a function, but the global variables, it declared outside all function block. In local variable, if it is not initialized, local variables take garbage value by default but uh, sorry local variable take garbage values but global variable take default values uh, zero actually okay in and uh, the in local variable the variables stored in the stack memory the values stored in the stack memory but in, in in the case of global variable it is stored in the data segment memory and so on you can uh, search in google as well okay uh, and uh, the next question is what is the oops concept believe me this question is almost asked by uh, by your interviewer to you you just prepare for this question okay what is the oops concept object oriented programming is a methodology or paradigm to design a program using classes and objects it simplifies the software development and maintenance by providing some uh, saying that gives some features of it like object class inter inheritance uh, polymorphism abstraction uh, encapsulation and gives uh, some details about them one by one uh, like object is any entity that has state and behavior is known as object like that like a chair pin etc and this is a subset of the a template a class okay and what is the class like uh, collection of object is known as class inheritance polymorphism one by one give the give their uh, uh, a little introduction okay and the next question is what is encapsulation in java it's a process of wrapping code and data together into a single unit example in real life that is capsule is a good example that is uh, it encapsulate everything inside it like medicine and products okay the next question is what do you understand by runtime polymorphism runtime polymorphism 
for dynamic method dispatch is a process in which a call to an overridden method is resolved at runtime rather than compile time. In this process, an overridden method is called through the reference variable of a superclass. The determination of the method to be called is based on the object being referred to by the reference variable. Okay. I think uh, you got it. How will you differentiate between um, method overloading and method overriding? If you know the answer, then pause the video and write it down in the comment box. I'll give you a heart and also I'll reply your comment. Okay. So the method overloading, uh, it actually compile in the it, it, it throws a compile time polymorphism but in method overriding it uh, throws runtime polymorphism and in method overloading uh, inheritance may or may not be accurate but uh, this is uh, compulsory for method overriding uh, the, uh, the inheritance is required actually uh, in method overloading uh, it, it actually performed between method within class and in method overriding it actually happens between parent class and child class and if you have more points then also, also comment in the uh, comment in the comment box okay uh, the next question is what are the keywords super and this in java the super keyword in java is basically a reference variable which is used to, to refer to immediate parent class object whenever you create the instance of subclass an instance of parent class is created implicitly which is referred by super reference variable some of the uh, i mean uh, let's differentiate between them it will be easier to understand uh, super can be used to refer immediate parent class okay parent class instance variable uh, on uh, other side uh, this this can be used to refer to current class instance variable and super can be used to invoke immediate parent class method in the other side this can be used to invoke current class method and super can be used to invoke immediate parent class constructor but this can be used to invoke current class constructor I think uh, this is enough uh, for interview round uh, for this question but you may add a more point okay this will add more value to your answer now next question is what is an abstract class in Java uh, the answer is uh, we cannot create the object in the abstract class it is restricted class in which new instances of an abstract class cannot be created they can be subclassed between uh, they can be subclassed but cannot be instantiated it cannot be instantiated which means it may or not include abstract methods okay i think you got it or if you have any uh, confusion then comment it down then i will answer you again in the comment okay and the next question is what is call by value and call by reference this is a also most important concept which are asked in interview when we pass the value of a variable will call, uh, while calling a function then it is called call by value the call by value method of passing arguments to a function copies the actual value of an argument into the formal parameter of the function in the other side when we pass the location of variable instead of its value while calling a function then this is called call by reference the call by reference method of passing arguments to a function copies the address of an argument into the formal parameter okay these are the 10 questions that are most significant for your Accenture 
technical interview question and as, as i have mentioned earlier that uh, these are the questions have been asked to 50 50 students and these are common uh, in all of them okay so give importance what i have told here but other than that you may um, you may prepare for any other questions like uh, what is java framework and little bit about exception handling and what is sdlc like this and uh, if you are from any csit student uh, background then obviously you should know about little about networking and uh, uh, like uh, this so that will be helpful for you more okay if you think uh, i should upload video regarding hr round question then write it down i hope all of you have got some advantages from this video so to get such informative video kindly subscribe my channel thank you